Hi everybody, this is Sateen Phoenix, and you've arrived to Monster Maidens episode, ahem, which is the Frost Giant episode. And uh, I chose her because um, this game that we're running over at Meltdown Comics, I think we're going to run it for like, I don't know, a year? The dungeon ma we actually have two dungeon masters. The first dungeon master, the, the brain of it all, um, his name is Bruce Minock. He's the creator of Pen and Paper and Laser Guns. Um, he's he created this whole world and it's pretty amazing. And in it, my character, her name is Stone Amber, and she's a UFC fighting warlock. Because I thought that'd be really cool. And he thought it was cool enough that he created a whole um Yes, it's not UFC, but it's like a MFC, so Magic Fighting Championships. <laughs> yeah, so the last game, we were probably about a month in, the last game, uh, my character was called out to duke it out with these two characters. One of them was a Frost Giant. It wasn't a girl. Um, I'm just drawing a girl version of a Frost Giant because this is Monster Maidens and this is what I do, except for that one time when I didn't, but this is what I'm doing now. So yeah, it was amazing! So we had, he like, got these UFC rules and then he added his own rules based on, you know, like Dungeons and Dragons, what, what you would do to attack another person if you were, had, if you were wielding magic. Obviously, UFC does not have magic rules, so uh, he invented them and it was pretty brilliant. We had these, this really cool arena, two pillars, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty fascinating. So I had, or maybe we're like six people at the table, and I had a, one of them ended up being my manager. One of them was a psycho dude who thought he was the king of something. And then uh, we had Nightshade, who was the, the thief, and then we had this other character that came in that hadn't played with us before. And then this other guy was, uh, I don't even know what he was, but he ended up being my tag team person. And there was five rounds, five minutes long, and it was so crazy and so, it felt like we were watching a UFC match. Um, so we tag teamed in, so he would start and then the other person would start and they would go at it and then he was about to like go kaput, so um, he would tag me in. And so mostly I was fighting a cross giant. I kicked the living crap out of it. I kept like blasting its face with, um, oh crap. I can't remember what I used, but it was a warlock thing and it was really cool, probably Eldritch Blast. Um, yeah, cause it was really awesome in my head. And I was using my attic skills to um, climb up the giant and just like blast it into the ground. That was really fun. Uh, it was a lot of running around. Even the way, the way the encounter went it wasn't like a normal, okay, you get this move and you get that move. It was all like Dungeon Master based and it was super fast. You know, it's like, I'm doing this. Well, he's doing this in return. So what do you do? Bow, 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 bow. I felt like I was brain boxing and it felt really good. Um, we had some good tactics. I, um, I TKO'd the Frost Giant, um, but then I got knocked out. So um, the other character, the guy that I had chose as my partner, he saved the day and it was like neck and necktie. And it wasn't like, the dungeon master was really cool because he was showing everybody what was going on. There was no hiding of numbers and he just kept marking and tallying based on hits and stuff. It was so awesome. There was like a, it was a tie and then the sudden death round and it could have gone anyway. The, the bad guys could have totally won, but the numbers and numbers hold true and we won and it was great and I got a sponsor and everybody was happy because um, you know they got all these like they won their bets because they all were betting that we were gonna win and, um, everything was pretty cool our, our thief she did get arrested she was trying to cheat um, she was trying to heal the opponent so, to show that they're cheating but um, yeah that, that didn't actually work out for her but it was so much fun. I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, I'm really excited and I can't wait to finish this game. Yeah, so it was really cool. Um, it was super fast paced. We actually were half of the, 
whole group. So there were six of us and then who knows, maybe like eight at the other table. And they were continuing on a quest that we had done the week before or the two weeks before, I can't remember it. We, we, we jump around a lot. There's a lot of games going on over at Meltdown. And um, so when we finished ours, we, we did a little teleporting and, and we ended up in this other place. And we, our character that was, he was this guy who thought he was a king from the North and it was really exciting. Now, he was really excited about like sharing with everybody that he was king. We're like, yeah, 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 you're crazy, you're king. Then the opportunity came about where he could actually be the king of a people. So um, we ended up rescuing these these people who were hiding out and um, on this like island. And um, maybe there was like over a hundred of them. And they decided that he was the king, and we were gonna re replace them into a, an area that was taken over by this uh, really big bad dude, this necromancer guy, who had like juiced all these villages in the west of this, you know, pretend place that Bruce invented. And yeah, it made a lot of sense. I'm the director of defense, a oh, minister of defense, and then Nightshade, the thief, she's like the head of the CIA. We have like a minister of agriculture and it's really silly. One guy just wants to be the dean of a university. I thought that was hilarious. So this whole game that um, basically my character, Stone Amber, has she was uh, one of two in this team. The other person that was in the UFC team was her twin sister. Her name was Brick. And she went on a mission to um, excavate some ruins or whatever and she never came back. So the whole point of this game was for me to to find uh, people to help me find my sister, and then you know, we ended up defeating a necromancer. And uh, I can't really say too much of what I know because I I don't want my other players to to find out any information. But gosh, I really want to say. Um, but yeah, this this whole thing is has gotten huge and. I haven't played a long campaign since high school or co I don't even remember honestly maybe college I don't know so th this is really exciting we're at level six now I uh, I wish you could play it every week <laughs> but you know it's hard for everyone to get together I mean we're 14 people in on this game that's a lot of people I hope that we can um, figure it out because we have more people that want to join our games I think we have a whole extra table where we have to get another dungeon master in on this. Um, what I really like that Bruce did was he has himself as the main dungeon master and then he has a secondary dungeon master. And you know when we have a group of 10 or 14 like we did, you know some people will go off and, and one of the dungeon masters will uh, will continue the story so there isn't much pause in the story. It does get a little complicated when you have everybody at the table and there's like a lot of action going on but um, yeah I, I think this is a whole new way of playing um, a, a big campaign with a lot of people without letting anyone down. It's kind of exciting. I really love creating new ideas and new things. And it's fun to, to be at the forefront. Um, maybe one of you guys have done something like this. If you have, let us know because um, maybe you have some advice. I would like some advice. Um, I know Bruce would like some advice. Even if we don't use it, it's still good to have in the arsenal. You know what I mean. So, back to our frost giant. I traced my drawing because I didn't want to ruin the pencils. And, um, she's holding the Cyclops head from the previous um, illustration that I did here on Monster Maidens. <laughs> I don't know if anybody um, recognized that, but that's what's going on in this picture. And also Frost Giants like to throw rocks, so I put that in too, because that made sense. Uh, I'm back to using the brush, and um, yeah, just, uh, just honing my style more. Yeah. So I think that's all I have to say about that and um, 
I hope you guys had a really good new year. I, I'm totally lost for words right now. So you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.